Hi everybody, this is uh, uh, this is the SPX intraday trading. It's June 19th, and uh, we just took a trade on the SPX on the puts based on this kind of a price action on the one minute chart. And we are in this trade. We are we are hanging in there. The RSI is also in the bearish zone, and the ticks have been weakening. The past two ticks, just a little bit of an uptick there, but for the most part, it is persistent. Now on the one minute chart, you don't want to get shaken out just because one or two dots uh, are, are not conforming. Uh, I would say on the five minute chart, if you see two dots, then that's something that uh, two dots that go against the grain, that's when you want to exit the trade. But on the one minute chart, you want to give it at least five or six or seven uh, dots before you get shaken out of the trade. And we can see that now uh, this is going down and uh, you will probably see uh, a much uh, lower tick value once this bar gets over. Let's see, it's uh, just about to get over. Let's see where it ends. Now you can see some pretty high volume came in here. So part of it could be selling, part of it I think was also support because it got uh, beaten down and then it came to the middle of the bar, in fact it is in the top half. So this can be a very good support uh, point, temporarily at least, this can be a very good support point, uh, nice, uh, because nice big volume, uh, more than uh, the past uh, at least uh, 8 minutes or so and so that could be a support point and if the RSI also pops its head above the uh, 40 level. Uh, we can see that the ticks are ticking up. So we have a put trade going which uh, may not fare very well uh, if uh, things uh, start to turn around. So we would want to get out of this trade. Uh, even if it's a small profit, that's fine. But you don't want to stick to a trade where the uh, trade premise is changing. So let's just hang in there and see. Uh, this uh, The previous tick was not extremely conclusive in the sense the RSI still remains in the, in the bearish zone here. But clearly the ES in terms of uh, the just the chart uh, uh, chart analysis. If you just look at the chart, it, it's looking it's looking like this was a good support uh, zone on this bar, and now it wants to head higher. But of course, it has to be supported by the internals, which is the cumulative tick, as well as the price action itself, which uh, which is the custom RSI. Okay, the ticks are definitely ticking higher, and as you can see, this thing is also going higher now. So. At this point, what we want to do is, uh, it's okay if it's just a small profit, but let's uh, you know try to get out of this trade and let's try to get into another one because uh, you know the indicators are telling us uh, that uh, things are changing in terms of the current sentiment, and so you know uh, you want to get out over there. So that's uh, that's okay. We'll uh, let's go back to our analysis. I mean, our analyze tab over here and uh, get ready and uh, let's look for the next trading opportunity. So let's just watch these charts for some time as I mentioned today is probably going to be just up and down, up and down until the 2 p.m. hour when the Fed uh, announces their uh, decision. Uh, so up until then, uh, it's probably going to be choppy. That doesn't mean that there won't be uh, some, uh, you know, decent, I mean, at least some small trades uh, that can go well. But in general, the market is just waiting for uh, the Fed statement. And you can see that by the implied volatility here. So the implied volatility of this series, this is expiring today and uh, you know that's 20% and so the plus or minus, the one standard deviation move is almost 24 points, plus or minus 24 points and for something, for this index that is expiring today, that's an incredible uh, uh, plus or minus value there. So the implied volatility is elevated but now once the 2 p.m. hour comes, there's going to be a significant volatility crush. Uh, that's going to come in. So you, you don't want to be holding long options at that point uh, in the sense that you know you can trade a long option but you have to let the volatility crush happen and then you get into the trade. So it's back down to a negative sentiment at this point. Things are, things are, looking, things are looking negative here. You can see the past two bars also ticking down. So I say let's try to get back into the same trade here. I'm going to go back to three contracts and just getting it ready. So let's let's just wait for this bar to get over. Uh, there's a lot of choppiness here. You can see that. So while we are at it, um, we might want to just keep a, a call option uh, trade also ready. And what I'll do is I'll just change this to uh, 14 strikes because we don't need this many strikes there. And I can move this up. So we have the 2900 put and I have the 2935 call ready here. Now see the RSI is jumping out. Uh, the ticks are improving, so if uh, that is the case, we can go in for a call trade. Yeah, definitely looking like that. So I'm going to go in for the 29.35 call. 
2935 call i'm just going to give the natural price uh, it should give us a better price yeah exactly it won't work with the 10 minute chart 10 minute is too long for day trading and uh, i would recommend trading decisions be made on the one minute chart uh, once uh, it gets well into the day you might want to uh, switch to a five minute chart at that point all right so let's see what how the position is doing here we have plus okay i put in five contracts but that's okay it's only 140 delta okay it's moving up nicely the ticks are also moving up uh, we will be in the safe zone once the rsi crosses the 60 and enters into the bullish zone until then uh, 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 you can say that uh, uh, it's not quite there yet but uh, I mean, we are just marginally up. It's only up 75. I, I was looking at the other one, but we are just up. Now we are even flat. So uh, it's not quite in the bullish zone yet. So just like you would, you would also want to look at the chart action and as well as volume also, because those are uh, you know important uh, things to look at. So here you can see it punched up on higher volume, and now uh, the, there's some follow through coming in. Now you have, you have the RSI, custom RSI moving into the bullish zone, which is good. And you can see our positions improving. Uh, it's up about $150. And the RSI continues to improve in terms of price action. Uh, the tick is moving, moved to 156, not bad. But this bar is not over. Let's see how it ends. Okay, so that bar ended with a tick value of 87. Now let's look at this new, new one. RSI looking to go into the bullish zone. As I mentioned, this was a key bar. I told, uh, I, I mentioned this earlier. When you see price action and the volume action like this, uh, that tells you a support zone has been formed here. And uh, so, I mean, it, it got shot down quite a lot, but on higher volume, it ended in the top half. That is very bullish. That is very bullish. And sure enough, after that, we are seeing some bullish action here. $250 profit uh, on this position. I don't want to give it up because it's made a nice move. So I'm going to take off, I'm going to peel off two contracts and book some profit here. We should get a better price. No, we did not. So RSI has clearly entered the bullish zone. The ticks are looking good. All right, ticks are moving higher. And so is uh, the market, so is the RSI. Okay, that was that bar ended very well. Actually, that bar ended very well. Uh, you know, the, the volume was low as it was getting pushed down, but it ended up uh, towards the top half of the bar nicely. RSI price action looking a little bit to the softer side now. It gets turning down, but of course that bar is still in play, so uh, you can't make a judgment until the bar gets over. Okay, you can see the ticks are coming down now. All right. We have a $200 profit on the trade. I'm going to close it because it's not worth uh, keeping the trade on when uh, the ticks up have started to uh, uh, come down. So uh, this one was uh, uh, this um, uh, this one was also a fairly decent. I mean, small. See, on a day like this, when you know there is uncertainty coming up at 2, to, uh, 2, uh, 2 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, you're not going to find huge moves either way because everybody is waiting for uh, this piece of news, uh, you know, on the interest rate. So, uh, you know, that's what uh, that's what uh, you know the general uh, trading sentiment is today. It, it's it's just going to go up and down. So, uh, in in such a, on such a day, you just take small profits, 180 on one trade, 200. So total is 380. You take away commissions, uh, that's about 350 bucks. Not too bad just take small hits and move on so let's just uh, uh, watch the charts here and see where the sentiment wants to go the ticks are clearly ticking down however rsi is looking okay so let's come back to our uh, analyze tab and let's see uh, what we have here is a both the put and the call so let's see which way it wants to go we want to get uh, some kind of a better direction here you can see this is a topping out pattern here so maybe temporarily it may be topping out. So let's just watch the watch the charts here for a couple of more bars. Okay, still looking a pretty, uh, uh, a little bullish there. I'm concerned about this bar. Uh, ended towards the bot uh, towards the bottom half rather on slightly higher volume, but that that could be buying as well. Looks like it it is mostly buying. The RSI and everything is looking good. I'm going to go for the. 
28, uh, 29, 40 call if I'm going on the call side. Yeah, okay. All right, I'm going in for the call again. 29, 40 this time, $4. So the level to watch out for would be the high of the day, which would be this level right here. And uh, I don't want to draw a Fibonacci. I just wanted to point out this would be the level 2927. So if it crosses that, then that's bullish temporarily. So we have the, let me open it up here, 2940 call. Okay, so question, day trade service, has it shifted to be 100% SPX, SPY? No, it's, we are doing that this week. Uh, the, the SPX trading will be integrated into the day trading services so uh, you know within the day trade service we will do both that's basically what it is uh, reason for 24 delta versus 31 delta there's no reason there uh, it's just uh, anywhere from 25 to 35 is fine um, you know uh, this time I think I took 24 because uh, you know it's already made that move so I don't want to spend too much on the option price I mean, you know, it could be, you know, until it takes out this high, uh, if it takes out this high, then I would be more convinced. Although the RSI is dipping down, it is still in the bullish range. So that tells you you can stay in the trade until that changes. Let's see what happens to the tick. Now, uh, certainly some down uh, downdraft coming here. This is, uh, this is exactly why I didn't want to take too, too big of a trade here. We have to wait for this bar to get over, but the ticks don't show any weakness. The ticks are not showing weakness. Uh, it's, the, it's the price action that's showing the weakness, but uh, the ticks per se, but of course, we have to wait for the bar to get over. That tick just uh, had a negative tick here, but still it's not too bad. It's still uh, positive. This one is ticking lower. This one is ticking lower. Okay, looking a little bearish there. But on all three bars, if you see, the volume is not that great. It's actually the lowest of the volumes of uh, pretty much uh, the whole thing. So it's possible that uh, uh, it's, uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised if this starts ticking up now. So what this is telling is that the selling pressure is not there. When you have these big red bars, but the volume is low, the selling pressure is not there. Yeah, I can see this one is uh, trying to recover here. So this is a day where we'll be flatlining in the sense we'll be up, uh, you know, from the zero line, we'll be up maybe two or three points or down two or three points and it's just going to meander that way uh, because we are waiting on this big event at 2 p.m. All right, you can see an uptick uh, on the ticks, but we have to wait for the bar to get over. You can see a turnaround in the RSI also. No, I will not be live at 2 p.m. No chance. I'm in India, so it's going to be too late. But the screens will be on, okay? The screens will be on. So uh, the webinar will be on still. So you guys can uh, look at the screens and take the trades. Uh, you know, once you know this methodology, what you're looking for, uh, I think uh, that's and that's how the date. Oh yeah, I mean, Kumar, you know, you're, you've been part of the day trading service, so you know that's how it works. Uh, uh, after after the first half an hour to one hour, then the screens are on for the rest of the uh, session. RSI is in no man's land between the 40 and 60. Ticks ticking down a little bit. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 6 ticks to the lower side. Okay, If this bar doesn't uh, shape up, then you would just want to get out of this trade. Yeah, definitely get out of this trade. That's moving even uh, lower. I'm going to just keep it ready. Let's see. So the RSI at this point is not telling us anything. It's in between the 40 and 60 level. So it's a no man's land. So what we have to look at is the ticks. Yeah, as I said, uh, in, on the one minute chart, I would say at least uh, six or seven bars. On the five minute chart, two bars. But certainly the trend, as you can see from the, just looking at the chart itself, uh, it is down, the, the, the trend is down. So you don't want to let this trade run away. When you switch to five minutes after one or two hours, I would say more like two or three hours. That's when you would switch to the five minute. And there's no need to do to switch to the five hour, uh, to the five minutes. Also, you would only want to switch if you want to get a slightly larger perspective from the chart. So if we shifted to a five minute chart now, 
you'll see that we have, uh, you know, so, so this is what, this, you know, this is noisy. You know, you, you can't make out anything from here. So obviously it's too soon to shift it to a, a five minute chart. If you see a pattern, then that's what you want to do. Okay, the RSI has dipped into the bearish zone from a price action standpoint. Let's watch the ticks. Let's see how this one ends. Okay, the good sign is RSI is coming out. So price action is okay. Uh, the ticks need to improve a little bit in my opinion. So you can see we've stayed in this trade for quite long. And you know, the, uh, to be honest, I think we took it at, uh, at somewhat of a high level over here. And so we are facing the heat uh, from this kind of price action. So in this kind of a scenario, whatever the original trade premise was, uh, it's probably not valid anymore in the sense that, uh, you know, you, you, you took the trade somewhere on this bar or this bar, I think, which was uh, at a high level already. Uh, and I should have actually waited to, for it to take out this high. That's when the bullish sign comes. But let's see, now there's some upticks coming. The RSI is looking okay. So uh, let's see if we can pull up, pull out of this uh, trade at least with a, with a break even. So what what you see here, we are negative fifty on this. Uh, uh, we are negative fifty on this trade. So if you see our monitor, this is what we are looking at: negative fifty on this trade. Not too bad, but uh, I would want to see the ticks improve. Uh, you know, otherwise, uh, just the price action improving is not enough. All right, there we go. Okay, now that jumped quite a bit. So, uh, so that that's a, that's a good sign. All right, now that jumped quite a bit. You can see it jumped to 242. So I would expect to see some upticks in the price action also, and the RSI to go into the bullish zone, because that was a big jump in ticks. Ultimately, the RSI is a price. Uh, trend and therefore, uh, you know, it's not definitive. The internals is much more of a reliable indicator than the price action. The price action is just a confirmation indicator. But let's see how this uh, how this tick ends. It had ticked up nicely to 242, so it's dropped down to 163. Okay, the, that was a down tick here, and you can see uh, even the RSI going into the bearish mode. And so you can see this now, now it's deteriorating. So it's just time to get out of this trade. It's okay if it's a loss, but uh, you know, uh, today being the day it is, uh, like I said, you're going to see, see choppiness right through the markets here. So let's just watch to see if there's a more clearer direction. Ticks are definitely going down and so is the RSI. So let's just watch these charts. Thanks. So just like on the upside, you would want to see it now, obviously some bearish uh, uh, price action as well as the ticks going on. However, you know this is a support zone, this is a support zone. So you would want to see it uh, take this down uh, and until then there's no point in taking a trade because it's just going to meander here and there. So uh, either it takes, takes out this low or it takes out this high. That's when uh, you, know, you would want to go for a trade right now. So let's just watch here. So unfortunately, today we are caught in this, uh, 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 what I would call a fundamental event, uh, you know, the FOMC announcement. So it's, it's just going to be plus or minus three, four points from the mean. And, you know, sometimes it look like it's bearish, sometimes it's going to look like it's bullish. So anyway, um, so in that sense, today is not the perfect day for this, uh, but we can't do anything about that. Uh, we still have two more days this week, uh, Thursday and Friday. So uh, we'll try to get a better understanding. I'm going to zero in, uh, I mean... Uh, uh, make the chart a little uh, a little wider so we'll get a bigger perspective here and um, I'll just leave it here because you know until and, and there's not going to be a s strong sentiment either way today because uh, of this announcement so you know you'll see a bounce from here and go back up and this is at this support level over here right now uh, it already tried to breach it once now it's trying again so We'll just watch anyway. So I'm, I'm going to uh, just leave the screens on, but uh, I don't see a decent trade in this kind of an environment because of the announcement today.